Hi, I'm Flavio, and here's my honest opinions on GPO, Grand Peace Online. Remember, these are my thoughts based on how long I've played. Now, I started playing Grand Peace Online when it came out for free, or soon as it came out for free. And by the time this video is out, I'm probably max level. When I started playing, I was introduced to the customization. Of course, I customized my character to something I liked. I went to a public server to play for a bit, see if I would actually enjoy the game. The game isn't much like Bloxroot. For starters, the shop, meaning things the game gives you for Robux, and I don't mean like Game Pass or you keep it, but they are expensive. Like the eye, dude, that literally cost 20,000 Robux, which is $200. I bought the private server Game Pass, which cost 700 Robux because some public servers were laggy. I also bought a fruit bag so I can give fruits to some of you and do giveaways in my discord. By the way, join the frog kingdom, our discord server. I'm there most of the time. So when I started playing I went straight to my friends, but mostly on the grand piece online fandom wiki. I got information on the islands, weapons, fruits, etc. The grinding in this game is way too easy compared to blocks fruit. Bloxroot is a heavy grinding game, but Grand Peace Online, it's easy to level up. I've helped some people in our Discord and didn't even notice that I got so many levels to where I have skipped four islands. It's easy to level up in this game that you don't even notice. The reason I don't like that, the max level is 500 when I'm making this video. For an easy leveling up game, that seems a low max level. The game has items. Some are 1%, 10%, or 25%, but most of them are 5%. The game has katanas that don't have any moves, but you can use them with one sword style, which is a combat apparently. There are other weapons like normal swords. They have their own moves. The game has four gun weapons currently, two bazookas and two guns. The fruits in the game are earned by defeating a sea beast which has a 3% chance to drop a fruit or a kraken which is in C2 has a 10% drop. You can get them from the trade hub or dungeon but you gotta get to wave 25 to get a guarantee fruit drop. You can also get them from ship farming but, but the higher your bounty is the easier they spawn. Same for CB and Kraken. Keep in mind you can also waste $200 for an eye necklace thingy that boosts the chances of drops and tells you what island it spawns in. The only way to save the fruits is to have a fruit bag which costs 500 robux. Most of the bosses drop an item, some rarer than others. To get Buso Haki, you have to defeat 100 yetis and waste 25k peli. And to get Ken Haki, you have to buy the quest, it costs 50,000 peli, and you have to perfect block 200 times. If you quit those quests, congratulations, you just made yourself start over again. Now grind those peli back up and redo the quest, and don't quit this time or you will start over again. Did I mention the currency in this game is Peli? Because it's gonna be useless after a while. Peli is used for buying three ships. A robo, caravel, a gallon, buying combat, combat moves, bounty I guess, but you have to trade it, buy the two guns and one katana, and some other few things. Did I mention that if you eat a double fruit, that's yours forever unless you pay 50 robux? or wait for the devs to make a code and because of that some noobs get trolled because some of them eat suke. I think overall the game is fun but more fun with friends the shop though could be way cheaper the prices on some of those items are too high I think they should either level cap 1000 or made it a bit harder to level up. Would I recommend this game to others? Honestly, yes. However, the game would definitely be up up there competing with Bloxroot if it supported mobile. But for now, mobile players can only go to the trade hub. So, do you agree with some of my opinions or disagree? Tell me in the comments and tell me if you guys want a part 2. Make sure you're subscribed with notifications on. Like and share the video. 
Thanks for watching. Join our socials. They're in the description. Have a good day, good night, or good afternoon, wherever you are.